Remember, one of our overarching objectives in this course is to be able to solve triangles. That is, if we're given some information about the measurements, the lengths, and the angles, be able to find the other missing information. Well, here's kind of a classic problem that uh, often shows up in many, in many different settings. Here's what we know. We know there's the longer leg is going to be some number x plus 4, and the shorter leg is going to be some number x minus 4. So I don't know if this is drawn to scale or not. And we know what the hypotenuse is, is 6.2. Now I talked about legs and hypotenuses here because they've told us that it's a right triangle. So with the right triangle, the tools that we have are the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. That works for any triangle. We have all of the different trig ratios, sine, cosine, tangent, but I'd need to know one of these angles to be able to use that. And we also have the Pythagorean theorem. Now the Pythagorean theorem <clears throat> on this problem states the following. It says that the length of the one side, x plus 4 squared, plus the length of the other leg, x minus 4, quantity squared, is going to have to be equal to the hypotenuse squared. That's really just our a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared formula. 6.2 squared. So now the idea is, can we solve this equation and be able to find out what uh, what x is. Once I know what x is, I'll be able to tell you what the long leg is and what the short leg is. So be careful with your algebra now. If I take x plus 4 quantity squared, that means x plus 4 times x plus 4. So I'm going to get an x squared plus, and I get a middle term here, Go back and review your algebra and make sure you know where that's coming from. 8x plus a 16. And the x minus 4, I'm going to get an x squared. Now think about what the middle term is going to be. It's going to be a minus 8 in this case. Go back and look at Khan Academy if that's not making sense to you. And then there's still plus another six, uh, negative 4 squared, which is a 16, is equal to, and then whatever you get when you take 6.2 squared. I need to use my calculator to help me with that fact. Okay, so I'm going to be able to gather up the x's. And <clears throat> in fact, this is going to be a, a Pythagorean theorem, uh, a quadratic formula. When I'm through, you see, if I st when I start to gather these things up, I'm going to have a 2x squared You see where that's coming from? From that x squared and that x squared And then I'm going to have a Oh, look at that That 8x and that minus 8x subtract from each other and give us 0. And then we'll have a plus 32, because I've got this 16 and this 16. And then I've got this uh, 6.2 quantity squared that I'll probably need my calculator to help me with. Now, we can certainly multiply that out by hand, but I don't want to do that. Now, I'm trying to get the x by itself. In this case, I'm not going to even have to use a, a, a quadratic formula because I can subtract a 32 from both sides, divide both sides by 2, and so that's going to leave me with an x squared is equal to the 6.2 quantity squared, whatever that number is, minus the 32 and then divide by 2. That whole thing is divided by 2. Okay.
I'm skipping a step there. You subtracted the 32 from both sides. Then we divided both sides by x. And so now I'm going to be able to find out what x is because I take the square root of both sides. x from the algebra standpoint is going to be either a plus or a minus uh, the square root of this particular amount. We're going to be interested in the plus amount because each of these sides need to be positive and if x was negative this length would be a negative amount. So we're interested in the square root of, you can see I just need to cut and paste this amount in into here, 6.2 quantity squared. Now I'd probably, I could ask WebWork to actually carry out this calculation if I entered it in carefully. I'll divide it by 2. Okay. Or grab my calculator and find out what that is. Now when I'm done, all that I know is what x is. But if I wanted to know what the length of this, uh, of this uh, longer side is, then I will need to know what x is and add 4 to it. So this part will tell me what, what x is. There's, we did some calculation that let us know what x was. Once we know what that is, then I can find that longer side, and then I can find the shorter side by subtracting 4 from whatever that number is. Probably need my calculator to get those things done.